during the end time of pregnancy, when we was expected the child to be born, we took her to hospital. The, the doctors and the nurses, they advised me that we're supposed to give her drugs which we can, uh, will accelerate the labor pain. After given the drugs which accelerate the labor pain, the outcome was very, very poor. After following up, they saw they discovered that the heartbeat of the infant in the womb of her mother was very poor. So they suggested that what shall we do? They suggested that to be operated, but because her mother was starved for a long time. They said that she is so weak, so it is not so good to send her to theatre. So let us try our level best to rescue the life of either of child, child and the mom, or only let us uh, rescue only mother. And then when they ask, asked themselves, that, so what kind of uh, procedure we are going to do. They come to the point that because there is child, it is, we are not sure that we can survive. So let us do the vacuum extraction. When they done the vacuum extracted, they pulled and they injured the child, the brain of the child. So the baby was delivered, but she didn't cry.
It's only in the last few years that the government of Tanzania has asked primary schools to provide for children with special educational needs within the school environment. The time they were coming, these pupils who are able thought or saw these disabled pupils. strange to them, but as uh, the days went on, they felt you know, that, they are, that are the disabled the pupils are the same as, as them. This disabled, combining with these able, makes no difference. They, they, they think, uh, I mean, they see that they are, they, are, they, are, they are one, they are one thing. These disabled pupils, some of them shows improvement mentally. Um, and then if we see that one of the pupils mentally there is a development, we, st we start them uh, in standard one in, in the primary school. After lunch, when school finishes, Judith and some of her friends walk down to the Maheo Trust. This centre provides support and accommodation for children with special educational needs. When I found this, my main aim was to train the mentally handicapped children to be self-sustainable or self-reliant. And therefore, I found, I started them to stay here. So we have a, a home for them. It's a home. It's a home for them. They are living here. Uh, there are activities which they are doing to try to make them learn some skills which they could employ in them. They are working in different activities. Since this was for youth, but now I have young children, they have to go to school. So it's a kind of integration. We have tried our level best to make this place a, 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 it's a center, but it's also a home. It's a place where the kids are living freely, independently, trying to exercise there. Uh, what feeling or what they need, they can express their wishes. Yeah, so that's what that's the main aim I started this place that they should stay here and try to live on what they want to. Safi. <laughs> Yeah, culturally, the, the Tanzanians or the Africans, the children are meant to be helped not burden. Once you have children who you feel it's a burden, then it's very difficult. Many ladies or women are kicked away by husbands and then they have no option. 
and they, without any fear, they just speak, the, they say this and this, I'm staying with him, you with, with your stupid child, go away. And then most of the ladies, uh, the children here are, have been, are staying with their mothers without fathers. Nili tuligombana mme wangu baada ya kumza mtoto mlemavu ndo akanifukuza akasema aondoka sikutaki na sasa kani mwanamke mwingine ambaye atazala mtoto ambaye ni mzuri ila wewe kwa sababu ni mtoto wako mbovu huyo mlemavu asiondokeni ndo nikaondoka na taraka yote kanipa kanifukuza Mia inasaidia sababu anafuata wenzake jinsi anavyofanya na yeye ndivyo anavyofuata wenzake. Na we mwenyewe ina maana gani kwako mimi? Na mimi vile vile inanisaidia mtoto wangu naye ataelewa naye vizuri na wenzake, hivyo nitasaidia watoto wangu. Eh. Baba hilo hilo. Huyo. Although primary schools offer support for children with special educational needs, the government in Tanzania has made little provision for similar support in secondary schools or beyond. Consequently, some children may remain in primary school into their late teens and early twenties. That's the problem which really made me to start my high. Because I, as a teacher, I saw that there were nothing at rather than accepting that children should be in school. Everybody has the right to go to school, but then what next to these mentally handicapped children? For the deaf, for the blind, at least you could understand their system or their, 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 their system or their plans were almost like normal, only they were given more time. But what about the mentally handicapped children? Ten miles from its main centre and orphanage, the Maheo Trust has set up a farm. As children grow into adolescence and young adulthood, they can leave the orphanage and move here. At the farm, they can live in semi-independence, cooking for themselves, doing their own washing and working in the fields. It's the Maheo Trust's way of supporting a transition into adulthood, developing independence, self-reliance and employability. The average income of a typical family in Tanzania is only about £360 a year. When families live on the edge of survival, looking after a disabled child can be a burden they simply cannot carry. Judith is well looked after and is loved and cherished by her family. But many children with physical, sensory and intellectual disabilities are not. Addressing the rights of people with disabilities also means addressing poverty. <laughs> 